people? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward. Hey guys. And we could not be more excited to be welcoming back one of the original Clever TV guests. It's Robbie Amell. Thank you. Thank and you. also our last guest here in the studio. <laughs> I know. First and last. Well, one of the first and the last. And I'm sure. It's nice that you didn't invite me back for the two years in between. But. Robbie, the door is always, always open. You're welcome oh, here. Sure. And you're busy. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Stop busy. being so busy, but keep being busy because <laughs> we like it. Busy. So this is a fun little show we like to call the high five. We're going to kick it off with a high five. All right. How do you feel? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Fantastic. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so question one. What is one thing available in Canada that you wish was also available? Ketchup chips. They didn't even oh, have a finish. Oh, also available in the United <laughs> States. Good thing it wasn't a trick question. What's up with the ketchup chips? You've Wait, never had a ketchup chip. No, never even heard of it. We don't okay. have it in chip. America. When you're in when you're in Canada, okay. try them. Lay's makes them, which you know they make everything. They're, good. I'm pretty sure they're an American company anyway, yeah. so they should probably make them here. You guys have the weirdest style chips anyway. You can what? literally get any 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 kind of chip in the United States except, for except ketchup, ketchup, ketchup chips. chips. So what is a ketchup chip? It's just ketchup flavored chips. Like it's you know it's the same sort of. Seasoning, they're not, there's no sort of liquid ketchup, it's just the same seasoning that goes on any other chip. Um, but it's ketchup. It's what you have on french fries. It's it's like the staple for potatoes. It's like the king of all condiments, basically. Exactly. All right, next question. Break down your most memorable audition story. In a good way or a bad way? Whatever you want to share. Whatever comes to mind. I can remember a couple. One of them, I was sitting in a uh, um, in an audition, and I can't remember what casting director it was, but it was just it was one of my first auditions in LA, and I was sitting across from her at her desk, and she was reading. It wasn't with producers or anybody, and her her office was totally open to the rest of the office, and like there's phone ringing, ring phones ringing, people having conversations, and I'm kind of sitting here going, "What the hell are you yeah. doing? <laughs> you called me here." For this, like, I'm. Are you even listening you, to me? Because yeah, normally, Does this matter? for an audition, you're in a quiet room, all the attention oh, is sure. on the scene. Yeah. But maybe it was a it's trick. It's like Entourage, the where elsewhere. the guy picks up his, or like he's sending an email when Johnny Dobbins doing an audition. I was like, this is terrible. I'm living out the comedic John, yeah. scene the from Johnny Dobbins. Yeah. And then you book the job. All right. Up next, what is the strangest habit you have that fans would be surprised to learn about? I've uh, I've owned. I can't. I've, I've lost count. I'm not entirely mm -hmm. sure. I could. I could try and list them off. But I've owned s around 16 cars since I was 17 years old. What? 16 cars. What is that? Yeah. So I, I like. I like cars. Um. I've. I've only ever had two at a time, mm -hmm. and I never try to have two at a time. I'll just be like, you know, if I find one that I want and I don't have time to sell the other one, then uh, I'll get it and put the other one up for sale. Um. I, I don't buy them new. I'll buy them used. Um, I, Craigslist? Yeah, a lot yeah. of times Craigslist, Auto Trader, Cars.com. You've there's got a, it down. A, I have the apps on my phone. I have a serious <laughs> So what's problem. the top car that you've had? Like the car that you felt really sad to say goodbye to? Um, after shooting the Tomorrow People, um, Greg Berlanti, I didn't own this car, but our executive producer Greg Berlanti bought himself uh, for his 40th birthday an Aston Martin. And he's not even a car guy. He just he likes Aston Martins, mm -hmm. he likes James Bond, and he was like, I'll buy this for myself. And he'll probably kill me for saying he's 40. Um, but he, Fabulous in 40. He's, <laughs> yeah, he looks 30, so it's okay. <laughs> but he bought this car, and uh, he knows I'm obsessed with cars, and he said, if we get picked up to series, it's yours for a week. And we got picked up to series. My whole family was in town. And uh, he said, come over to Warner Brothers. He, he, he screened the pilot for my whole family, and he handed me the keys. And I drove Stop off the it. lot in his $270,000 oh. Aston Martin. Wow. And then I had cool. to give it back. Oh, painful. But you got your full week, right? Yeah. Okay. He was like, how fast did you go in it? I'm like, oh, I, like, I, don't, I don't go that fast. I just, you know, I, I like the car okay, and I like to accelerate. And he's like, but seriously, give me a number. I was like, not that fast, like 100. He's like, 100? <laughs> I've never taken it over 70. <laughs> 
question. So you and your cousin, Stephen and Mel, for those yes. of you guys who don't know, you're basically taking over the CW. We're working on it. Goodbye, Hemsworth Brothers. The Amels are coming <laughs> for you. Um, what's the craziest slash coolest slash most awesome thing that ever goes down at an Amel family gathering? Because I, I really can't even imagine. Take us inside. We haven't had any for a long time because family, you know, our families kind of sep not really separated, but uh, there was a seven year age gap. So we were really close when we were young. And then um, we moved to different parts of the city. Like I was in downtown Toronto. His family was a little more uh, towards Aurora, which is a little a little ways out, not too far. And um, I, I don't remember, like I remember our family gatherings when I was really young, but after that it was just kind of like, go see grandma and grandpa whenever we can. And, uh, but uh, our grandfather was a huge, huge golf fan. And if golf was on, like who cares that family's here? I'm sitting <laughs> down and if you want to spend time with grandpa, like our Papa Jack, go watch golf with him. <laughs> Cause that's the only way you're getting any attention. But, uh, but we had a lot of fun. It was just, you know, the usual fam, you know, big turkey Thanksgivings and, and Christmas dinners. And uh, our grandmother would make the best Christmas cookies I've ever had. They were always shaped as little uh, Scotty dogs because she had oh, cute. Scotty dogs. Yeah. But they were incredible. Ketchup flavors. Like the chips? Oh. Come on. <laughs> I'm just That's delightful. <laughs> and finally, who is your biggest acting crush? Who would you want to work with, dead or alive? Well, crush or someone I'd want to work with, because those are two entire. Because oh, if I say Michael K Michael Caine is my crush, that's gonna <laughs> seem super weird. He could, he could totally be your crush. I like. would love to work with Michael Caine. Um, uh, when I wrapped my first, well, actually during shooting my first movie, a friend of mine gave me uh, a book called Acting in Film, and it's by Michael Caine. I Kane. have that book. It's incredible. Yeah, he's it's, on the cover. Yeah, it's not like a how to act or anything. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't tell you what to do but it's just him talking about his personal experiences on set. Um, you know, he gives you a couple small tips, like if you're doing a close-up, try and look for, with, like if that's our camera, I would be looking at your right eye. Because if I'm looking at your left eye, I'm a little close to camera. Ah. And you don't want to go back and forth between the eyes because it just ends up looking like you're going like this. But um, it's just a great, it's a great book where he, you know, talks. He name drops like crazy, and Which it's just he really can. entertaining. And I love, I love his work. I think he's incredible, um, and I would love to meet him and work with him. Well, thank you for coming in. Thank you. It's always good to see you. How about not as long next time, okay? How about it? If I don't see you for two years, that's not cool. It's not cool. How about this? I'll bust the door down at your new place. I don't care. How about if you get picked up for season two? You just run us an Aston Martin and we'll drive to your set and do an interview there. <laughs> Done. You can drive to Vancouver. In an Aston Martin. In an yes. Aston Martin. If we have an Aston Martin, we'll make it happen. Be there in a couple hours. You'll be good. Or you can Sounds come good. drive on down here. All right. An Aston good. Martin. Good. You rent me an Aston Martin. Done. It's in and our I'll budget. Come Doesn't your AP have one? <laughs> Why are we talking about renting here? <laughs> well, congrats awesome. on the show, The Tomorrow Thank People. You. Yeah. It's going to be hitting us Wednesdays on The CW, followed, following Arrow, actually. So it's yep. all about the family. My girlfriend made, um, I, I went to New Orleans for uh, my cousin's wedding, mm -hmm. and she made an Amel Wednesdays t-shirt. So I Love showed up it. with a hashtag Amel Wednesdays shirt. Um, he didn't know how he was going to be wearing that. So he's <laughs> oh caught off, off guard a little bit. I love it. I love awesome. it. Well, congratulations again. Thank yes. you. We'll be watching. Yes, we mm -hmm. will be. be Starting better. October 9th. October 9th. On the 9 CW. PM, CW. And then Wednesdays thereafter. Wednesdays. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Robbie. Thank Good you. to see you. Good to see you guys. And too. thanks to you guys for checking out Clever TV. Make sure you check out tomorrow, people, when it hits the CW again, October 9th <laughs> at 9 p.m. Be there. We will. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>